then what you do with it is your ultimate gift in return to God. Wow. So as a kid laying there with the scoliosis yeah. and trying to get through the, the possibility that you might have paralysis of your legs, what pulled you through that? You know, oftentimes people ask me when I discovered God, when my faith became real, and never. And I say that, not that I never had it, but yeah. that I always had it mm -hmm. and knew it. From the earliest memories before as a child, you have the ability to reason. I knew, I felt God's strong presence. And I knew I had a mission and a purpose, not a poor kid in a rural part of mm -hmm. <laughs> a destitute place, you know. It's not fanciful thinking because you're not even smart enough when you're four and five years old to have the, right. the fantasy and the illusion. So you can ask yourself, what is it? Why does God reveal himself to some and not to others? Why do some feel his presence and others don't? Mm. And I only personally, from my point of view, have one answer. If you ask, he will reveal himself. I had a prayerful mother. I had a prayerful grandmother. Uh, there was a, a, a vagabond who came and through the villages and whenever he came through town, every few weeks, months, sat down in her kitchen and read the Bible to us. Mm. I knew God existed. I didn't understand it, but I knew it was my source and my force. And so when I was 12 years old and feeling destitute, I knew that this wasn't it. I knew that I wasn't created mm -hmm. so it can stop there. I knew I wasn't brought out of the hellhole that I was born into just to suffer some more and then have my right. life end in shambles. I did not accept that reality. I did not go there mentally. Mm -hmm. Therefore, I did not go there physically. And I was going to ride that wave and come out on top. Mm, wow, wow. Now with uh, the Secret of Life transformation, you've had the opportunity to really, again, get up close and personal with sure. some incredible characters. Yeah. What was that experience like in, in kind of posing the questions and, and really just drawing out from them what makes them tick? You know, it wasn't just an interview. I had the opportunity to spend extraordinary amounts of time in different circumstances all over the world and really get to know these people. And I always appreciate anybody who's ever gone out of their reality and created something phenomenal. Again, not for themselves, but what they have been able to do to affect so many people yeah, yeah. In, you know, in so many different walks of life. And I've always pursued that since I was a teenager. As soon as I got out of my cast, I pursued exceptional people mm -hmm. and having ghost written for heads of state and all sorts of phenomenal people who've accomplished extraordinary things all over the world. I never get to a point where I don't fully appreciate it. And there's not a day that goes by that I am not inspired and motivated by what I learned. So if you seek it, you'll get it. If you apply it, you will succeed. Yeah. And when it comes to uh, life transformation, what are some of the common denominators that you've seen in, and found in the lives of, of these folks? I'll tell you the most common denominator, mm -hmm. and that is none of these people allow others to define who they are. Mm -hmm. No matter how desperate it seems, no matter how lofty their dreams are, no matter how grand their ambition may appear to be, mm -hmm. no matter how impossible their circumstances, they do not permit other people to define who they are. They know themselves. Mm -hmm. Doesn't mean the journey is not brutal, it doesn't mean the sacrifices are not immense. Mm -hmm. And as Larry King said in the foreword, more twists and turns than the road from Maui to Hana. <laughs> but you do get there. They're true to their convictions. Yeah, wow. You talk about them knowing themselves. And I think that's something that's difficult yes. for a lot of people to do. How does one go about knowing oneself? Something we don't have time for anymore because we're so mm -hmm. consumed by external forces and the business of survival, spending time with yourself. You know, I, I go to the manual of life, the Bible, on a daily basis. There's not a day that goes by that I don't read Proverbs and, 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 and mm -hmm. Psalms and whatever else I feel compelled to read that day. You know, King Solomon, the author of the Psalms, was the richest man that ever yeah. lived, even by today's standards. He right. makes Bill right. Gates look poor. <laughs> you figure he had something to say. Yeah. And, you know, and we've been taught about poverty and humility and humbleness. And, and I think it's, religion has used it in a perverse way. Mm -hmm. We've been misguided by it. Mm -hmm. You know, we don't worship it, but we use it as a tool to accomplish great things. God gave it to us as a tool. Yeah. And that's where you go with it. Yeah. Julie, for someone watching that um, maybe has been having difficulty breaking out of the box mm -hmm. of, of the the 
the mediocre, the average, the sure. the normal. We and, go around the mountain. Yeah, yeah, to to maybe getting back into that place yeah. of being a dreamer and, and seeing the the bigger picture and the, and the master plan. How do, how can you break out of that? That, that, that mindset of, of, of smallness sure. into it's God's greatness. It's having a vision. You can be a dreamer and do nothing, but you can have a vision, and then you create a path to make that vision your reality. Mm -hmm. You know, the most powerful statement in the Bible to me is when the Israelites went around the mountain for 40 years. You know, God was silent for 40 years, mm -hmm. and finally He spoke. Do you remember what He said? Why has it taken you 40 years to make an 11 day journey? <laughs> it only takes 11 days to get to the promised land of milk and honey. And here they are 40 yeah. years going round and round the mountain. How many of us in our own lives mm -hmm. are going around a problem, around an issue, around a circumstance, around whatever, mm -hmm. around and around our entire lives. And we never realize that it's just across the street, yeah. just across the horizon. Mm -hmm. and, and and, and, and I think we need to get to that place of awareness of what we are doing and get to that place of truth and read the book. We're yeah. going to take you there. <laughs> awesome, awesome. I want to thank you, Julie, for joining us. And the book is The Secret to Life Transformation, How to Claim Your Destiny Now. And if you'd like to connect with Julie, you can go to her website, which is juliechristen.com. You can find an easy link at harvest-tv.com. Click on Show Info in the menu bar. Find an easy way to get back to her website as well. As you'll see copy of the cover here. If you click on that, order it and purchase it, it'll be sent right to your door. We'll be right back.